Crystal Palace, Mick. Hello, Mick. Hello, Clive. How are you doing? Uh, all right. How many hours sleep do you get a night? Uh, not enough. Probably about six or seven. Oh. That's why we need to sleep. It's the brain that actually needs to shut down. Yeah. It's not our physical body. It's the brain, because we'd end up going mad if we didn't sleep. Well, I, th I think that's a very good point. You discover a, a secret community out there. So you don't just build an affiliation like with Clive, but you build an affiliation with the people that phone in. And it's just something that goes on and, you know, you end up being part of it. Worthing. Charles. Hello, Clive. Hello. Sitting comfortable? Yes, I am, thanks, yes. Good. Why? Right. Good. Right. Now, two things I'd like to talk to you about. Yes. Which won't take long. Um, uh, Mick, good. hello. Hello, Clive. Hi, Mick. Uh, talking about irritation. Oh, yes. You know, like when you're driving home late at night? Or yeah. In the early hours of the morning? Yeah. Hello, Jean. Hello, Clive. Jean. Do you want me? I, uh, yes. Has anyone ever told you you've got quite a distinctive voice? No. 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 <laughs> There is a kind of a relationship, and yet, in a way, there's no relationship at all. It's like, in a way, they are a friend, and you get to know them, and you're talking to them quite often on a, on a regular basis, and you wonder about what's going on in their lives, because you get a little glimpse of, of what's going on, and then maybe nothing for a while. But in another way, they're a complete and total stranger, and I, I suppose I am to them as well. Do you ever get a sense of deja vu, Clive? Um, what do you mean? Well, you know, sometimes get an idea what a caller is going to ask you before oh, they've yeah. actually asked it. Yeah, yeah, I, I know what you mean. Do um, you? Yeah, yeah. By I'll nature, I'm nocturnal, so it kind of fits in with that. that it seemed that the later I stayed out, the later I got up the next day, and the later I started work the next day. It's like a house with two rooms. You're in the room up the front driving, there's a petition, and then obviously there's the room back here where the passenger is. But with the noise of the engine and the outside environment, it's not the ideal place to have a conversation. And secondly, I'd much rather listen to a bit of phoning and talk, and also Clive Ball, than uh, some of the people I get in the back, especially if they've had a few light hours. <laughs> uh, well, Mick, it's good to talk to you. Thank you, Clive. Thanks very much. All right. OK. All right, then, Clive. Thank you, Clive. Thanks very much. All right. OK. All right, then, Clive. Cheers. Uh, 0845 6060 973. Waterloo. And Valentino. Hello, Clive. Hello, Valentino.